oh Muslims, we need, we need a heavenly power to enlighten us, to enlighten all of us, to make peace in our heart and in our life. This life is ending. People come and go. But one day, we are all going to be between the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will bring us back to judge us. Sayyidina Abu Yazid al-Bastami, one of the greatest scholars in Islam, he said, I always look at people from a certain view I look at them and I learn from them wisdom and that wisdom is that I look and I respect when they ask him why you are respecting the young one he said I respect the young one because he has less sense than me young one like 15 years, 20 years. Any young one, younger than Abu Yazid al Baslami, he is saying, I look at him, he is younger than me, he has less sins than me. And I look at the elder one, older than me, I respect him also more than I respect myself. I respect him because he has more ibadah than me. So this one has less sins than me, this one has more ibadah than me. So I have to respect everyone on the right or on the left. And that's why he said, Ya Rabbi, open for me your door. Open for me your door. I want to come there. I want to come to your beloved one, Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah said, when Ju uh, Abu Yazid asked him, busulu ilayka ya Rabbi? How, what is the, how, what is the way that I can reach your divinely presence? Your love, your ashq, your fana, your hudur, your presence. How I can do that? Ashik for Prophet, love for Prophet, fana with Prophet, in Prophet, hudur of Prophet, presence of Prophet. How I can reach that? He said, he heard a voice coming and saying in his heart, Utruk nafsaka wa ta'al. Leave yourself and come. That is the door. Don't look right or left. Don't waste your time. One hadith is enough to teach the whole ummah, the whole universe from Prophet. One hadith is enough to be filling barakah on everyone. Don't underestimate the power of Prophet That give us also a, uh, an understanding that one letter of Holy Quran, one word of Holy Quran can make us happy in dunya and akhirah. But he, there is a condition, leave yourself and come. Sayyidina Musa went to Khudr alayhi salam. He's higher than him. But he went. He left his self and went to accept what try to accept what Khadr is doing. But he had tried. We must try. And then, وَعَلَّمْنَاهُ مِنْ لَدُنَّا عِلْمَ Allah said about Khadr. We have taught him from our heavenly knowledge. If we leave ourselves, we leave means disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will open for us his paradises, his Ilm, al-ilm al the heavenly knowledge. Allah is not closing it. Allah is giving it. It's gave, he gave it. But let us take it. It's there. Hanging between earth and heaven. Come to me, take it. Allah is saying, اترك نفسك وتعال. Leave yourself and come. 
O oh Muslims, when we leave ourselves means we reach the level of humility and humbleness. Prophet was the highest, the, the, the top one, perfect manners. And the perfect manner is to be humble. When he was humble, Allah raised him. Because he, he dressed him with the best character. Best character is to be humble with everyone. If we are humble, humble all these problems in the world will be solved. And when we are humble, we will listen. We will listen. We will obey. As-sama' wa ta'a. 